My name is Mecca Muhammad. I'm from Champaign, Illinois, originally born in North Carolina. I'm 14 years old, and this year for Youth Media Workshop, I want to do a project about fashion. So I interviewed Miss Ella Coleman. She's from Champaign, Illinois. She's 67 years old, and she comes from a family of eight, five siblings. I asked Miss Coleman if she could describe fashion to me when she was around 18 years old. They were wearing Bermuda shorts. Do you know what those are? Yes, they do. Okay, and we wore um, uh, pants called pedal pushers. Do you know what those are? No. Same thing as capris. Um, I think we were still wearing probably somewhere between 15 and 18 years of age, we were wearing the wide skirts and we wore hope skirts and crinoline skirts. She then informed me about crinoline hoop skirts. Crinoline slips, the hoop skirts, if you didn't have a hoop, which was kind of a plastic circle that you put in the bottom of your slip, that went under your dress, that made your dress stand out. You wore crinoline slips. They had to be starched. And that would make your dress very full. Then she described men's fashion to me. They were wearing peg leg pants. Do you know what those are? No. <laughs> they're, sh they're tapered at the bottom. They're real skinny and tapered. They're, they would be like skinny jeans. I asked her, what country do you think has the biggest influence on American fashion? Europe, Europe, European countries have probably the most influence on fashion. American fashion, yeah. I then asked Ms. Coleman what effect she thought fashion had on society and what it represented. I think fashion represents fashion designers. It doesn't represent necessarily what the general population thinks because uh, fashion designers kind of go along with economics and trends and um, something different. You know, it has to be different and exciting. It has to capture you. It seems to have a, a positive effect. I mean, that's what everybody's doing, and, and I think the way our society is, if you're doing what everybody else is doing, you're with the in crowd. You know, you're, you're popular. I asked her, what does she think fashion today is based off of? I'm saying that fashion kind of was designed after hip hoppers and, and prisoners and uh, uh, other elements that weren't necessarily positive that the, the young men or young women have picked up on and I think that will become less popular as uh, people start recognizing the importance of education, the importance of working and jobs and family and those kinds of things. But nothing stays the same. Everything changes. Nothing stays the same. Miss Coleman told me a very interesting thing. She told me there is a difference between fashion and style. You can change the fashion by your style. You can add belts or scarves or like the girls wear leggings under dresses. And, you know, you can do all of those kinds of things. Mm -hmm.